Hello! Today we are going to go through how to assemble a drone. The drone plastic frame is obtained with a 3D printer, and you can find the STL file on www.st.com. It has been designed to offer airfoils orientated as the blade propellers. These are the clockwise motors and clockwise blades, which go here and here. You recognize the motors by the wire colors, red and blue. And these are the counterclockwise motors and anti-clockwise blades, which go here and here. This is the STEVAL FCU001V1, the flight controller card of the drone STEVAL Drone 01, which will be positioned here and here. There is an arrow here that indicates in which direction it should be positioned on the frame. Use the double sided adhesive pad provided to secure it firmly. This is the LiPo battery, which will be stuck using adhesive tape on the underside of the drone frame. First, we use the double-sided adhesive tape to attach the STEVAL FCU001V1 to the drone frame, like so. Then we take the counterclockwise motors and insert them in the frame, like so. Then we take the corresponding counterclockwise blades and attach them to the motors. And then the same principle for attaching the clockwise motors and blades. Now it is time to connect the motor cable to the flight controller unit. The scheme is as follows. From the left, the M4 and the M2 for the counterclockwise motors, the M3 and the M1 for the clockwise motors. Now we will attach the battery to the underside of the drone using the double-sided tape. In the end, your drone should look like this. As you can see, we have attached the cables with a plastic tie-up. The battery connector has to have the black wire on the right of the PCB. When connecting the battery, be extra careful. Incorrect connection will damage the board. With the drone assembled, download the ST Drone app. Before flying the drone for the first time, we need to do a few things. First, you need to start the connection and write down the MAC address of the drone. It is important if there are more drones around. After, go into Settings and disable the yaw. Then take the power slider down to 50 or 30%. You don't want to fly straight up to the ceiling. Two last important actions. First is calibration. Put the drone on a flat surface and press the calibration button for one to two seconds and make sure it turns green at least for a moment. That means it is calibrated. The drone takes the surface as a reference. The second step is arming the motors. Press the ARM button so it says ARMED. Now you are ready to fly. 
Remember, every time the drone flies and stops, repeat the calibration. For inexperienced drone operators, it is much easier to take off than to land.